This is the GV Podcast, a variety review podcast featuring two of the three idiots giving their thoughts on cartoons and anime. This is an opinion-based podcast, and there's no way we're saying our thoughts and opinions are objective. Keep this in mind and enjoy the show. Ah, uh, today's a good day. Hello, everybody. It's we're watching a, good... a new anime. Oh, no. Okay. What is it? So, well, we're starting a new series. What is uh, it? Who can smile again? You can fly away. I don't what? remember the rest of the lyrics because they're all in Japanese. I'm but we're now. we're watching a very interesting show. What is this, Duke? Let me get the Wikipedia. Wikipedia. <laughs> if if a teacher ever says Wikipedia is not a source, they've never used Wikipedia. No, actually, that's the funny thing. They probably do use Wikipedia, and they just still don't <laughs> they, want they kids just, to know. They just yeah, they don't want them to know that they also use it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably... Stop, stop stealing my sources. <laughs> we already used it. You can't use it again. That's plagiarism. I know that it's plagiarism against my plagiarism, in which I can't have that. <laughs> you will be punished for it. You will be punished. Keep up your stupid shit. It'll probably be mostly cut, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, don't cut it. You tell me your opinions on Wikipedia while my website loads. I don't know. I've never used it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> website is loading. <laughs> this show... Is a Japanese manga series written and illustrated by Yoshihiro Tagashi. No, it's not. Tagashi? It has been serialized in Shueisha's Weekly Shonen Jump since March of 1998. By, like, is it like a Fruit Loops or is it like a Frosted Flakes? Although the manga has frequently gone on extended hiatuses since 2006. Captain Crunch? Its chapters have been collected in 36 Tonkoban volumes as of October 2018. Like the tractor? The story focuses on a young boy named Gone Freaks. Oh. Who discovers that his father, who left him at a young age, is actually a world-renowned hunter. A licensed professional who specializes in fantastical pursuits, it's... such as locating rare or unidentified animal species, treasure hunting, surveying unexplored enclaves... <gasps> or yes. hunting down lawless <laughs> individuals. This is a weird way of saying Sailor Moon. Gon departs on journey <laughs> to become a hunter and eventually finds his father, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Along the way, Gon meets various other hunters and encounters the paranormal. Ah. Can you guess the name of the show? It's Hunter Squared. That's right, we're watching Yu Yu Hakusho. Oh, I love Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Anyway, we're watching Hunter Hunter. Hunter Hunter. Oh my god, look at his face! Aw. It's gold. Oh so, man, this must be must be a so very happy anime. My joke, my joke with Yu Yu Hakusho is the fact that the creator of Hunter Hunter actually made Yu Yu Hakusho. Ah, oh. yeah, um, which made your joke even funnier of Sailor Moon because his wife, his wife is it's the a... one who created Sailor Moon. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. these were jo- these were layered jokes. You must have a big brain to understand. I said big, not wrinkled. But yes, we're gonna be we're gonna be finally <laughs> watching. Brain, uh, I'm having a stroke. <laughs> we're gonna finally watch Hunter Hunter. Yes. Or if you're a heathen, Hunter X Hunter. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, allow me to heath. <laughs> I guess Hunter Squared is a better option after all. But no, I'm, I'm, allow me to heath. Okay, so going around the round table. Jinzu! Man, we need to get a round table. What do you know of Hunter Hunter? Um What have you watched? What do you know? What have you read? I Because it's wrong. <laughs> I got to they're like in the middle of the Hunter. Or like they just So the first hunting. season. Yeah, yeah, I was still in the first season. Still in the first season. What about you, Mayhem? What's a Sonic? Green okay. Sonic. <gasps> He's chosen death. The weed Sonic? Jet the the Bird. The bird. Well, we're going to be watching the entire first season. That arc that you were just talking about, the hunter exam, the entrance exam, that is what you're going to be watching. What? So this is the Hunter x Hunter that I've always heard about. I will kill you. Yeah? You will die. I will die. And either the you know, end... there was something funny. Somebody had said, man, Hunter x Hunter sucks. And his friend just like, you know what? Valid criticism. It's fun. I won't be mad about it. Did this motherfucker just say Hunter X Hunter? <laughs> <laughs> did, did he say Hunter X? There's an X in the th- in the in the logo. The title. Yeah. You don't pronounce it though. Why not? Hunter Hunter. It's just Hunter Hunter. Pterodactyl. <laughs> oh. You will die. He's trying to strangle me. But he's God going, damn it. But he's going from the wrong angle. 
Oh, you're right. That's my dick. <laughs> okay. Not clickbait. <laughs> so for me, I actually stopped just after the Greed Island arc. So that is how far I've gotten. I with don't Hunter know what that is. What is it? Tell me. What, how far into the show is that? Crawling in my skin. Oh, okay. These animes will never make sense. So, uh, and this basically, actually the best way it. to put it, I am about 200 to 300 episodes deep. Dude, good lord, man. <coughs> the best way to put it is, <coughs> yep. uh, kites will make you sad from now on. Man, it's good. It, well, oh no. But it's but anyways, anyways, but man, no, th- important thing. But man, 300 episodes, that's a lot. It's a good thing we're watching One Piece. <laughs> Yeah. So just, just for a little bit. Just for a little bit. <laughs> for the rest just of our lives. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we're gonna be watching Hunter Hunter. Uh if I had to give you any background stuff. Any warnings. Season one is the most simple. It's the most sweet. Just a nice simple show. Oh, almost it's got a lot of that like shown in beginning stuff. When did it this come out? is before it gets dark. When, <laughs> oh no oh, it, it's dark too. Uh the way later down the line. Oh. But, but currently, what? it's not too dark. When did it come out? Uh, as I said, uh, the manga came out in 1998. 90? Oh, wow. Okay. So which it... would make it around the time of the big three. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, this is going to be the simplest season of Hunter x Hunter. Of, it's literally just any shonen protagonist, insert, there you go, done. Okay. <laughs> but it is very nice, very well done. You will love it. Let's watch it. Uh, if I had to make a, a middle joke... You will hate clowns unless you already do, in which you'll hate them even more. Especially the clowns that really like children. Oh, no! Okay, of course I hate clowns. I'm American. You want to watch a kid pull a guy's heart out? What? Go! Okay, let's go. What? I didn't like that. Go! Run! There's a clown coming after you! Oh, go! <laughs> Get your ass back here, boy! No, no, definitely don't do that. <laughs> We're back. We just watched Hunter Hunter the first season. Jinsu, do you dare parkour yourself onto the couch? I might kick Duke in the face, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, gotcha. <laughs> Understood the assignment. Here he comes. Uh, oh my go. god, don't do that. Yeah, I, I got a layer of blubber. I'm fine. <laughs> oh god. That, was that wasn't him. There we go. <laughs> he did it. He's alive. So... My name is Duke. Why are we introducing Argentina. ourselves? Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot this was a uh, part. Uh, this is a part two. Man, I I got zoned out for a second. Man, Hunter Hunter. I forgot how long season one feels. How how long it feels? It because how many episodes is it really? Twenty six episodes. It's only twenty six episodes, and it felt like forty. That's the that's one of the biggest problems. Of God, I have rewatched this season. More than almost any other show. Jeez. I would have to say the only shows that come close, and I'll say close, are One Punch Man, by choice. By choice. And Fairy Tale, <laughs> not by choice. Not by choice. Unwilling. <laughs> no like, consent No consent is there. It's the kind of thing of like, you really want to show a person a really good show, but at the same time, you show enough people, you get to the point where you're like, okay... I really don't like this first episode anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I can now, like, you, you can confidently start critiquing it. <laughs> yeah, basically. I've rewatched this. I'm in the other boat. I watched the episode. I went, oh, is that all? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that all? So, quick non spoiler thoughts for all three of us. Basically, the first season was about the test of getting into becoming a hunter which i actually like at first like overall i would say is a different sort of feel to a first season because usually with that it's like build up and then the finale is the actual test itself and i i found it a better choice that they did that this that the test was the entire season that's what i feel yeah uh so, Jinzu, thoughts? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Jinzu, what were your thoughts on Hunter x Hunter uh, Season 1? Um, there there was definitely lots of build-up and lots of, uh, like, foreshadowing. And, like, this is just the beginning, you know? Like, it's, it's like this for every show, where it's slow, it's 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 very, like, character-driven. It's the, the thing, the decisions that characters make have to be very subtle. There's also going to be lots of subtle foreshadowing from the author. 
of, the, of the crazy things yet to come. Um, and they did that really well with the hunter test. The hunter test was very crazy. It was it was very crazy, and they they explained that it's always going to be random. It's always going to be deadly. There's always you got to think outside the box. You have to be skilled, or you're fucked. If you're <laughs> if you're a regular person going into this, you're just fucked. Yeah, 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 exactly. No, that's the thing. There, are, this seems like a world where there's not really any good people. Just get, like good natured, I will, guess. Willing to, people willing to help those in need. <laughs> like, yeah, that's good, but still, like, basically, I'm willing to help. How did I help? I killed a village. I killed. That's the kind of looks I get. I get from these people. You guys wanted them gone, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, they're gone. Everyone's. No, we wanted mm-hmm. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> Duke, what did you think? I like this show, and I have to say, I feel the biggest problems uh, that uh, s- make it struggle early on is that it pushes a lot of the like classic shonen tropes of like these are just like a good hearted, uh, good natured show where it's a, a chipper character who likes to go on adventures, that kind of stuff. Like it's like ball. you get you get so used to the formula after a while that you start getting tired. It becomes like stale bread essentially. Yeah. <laughs> white bread. <laughs> yeah, it's the white bread of anime, essentially. <laughs> In all fairness, that's kind of an accurate statement. Uh, but when it came to this show, it's towards the later parts, like when it's like, here's this classic trope. Now we're starting to bend it, and it's like um, Hisoka. Hisoka doesn't even seem like a normal antagonist you would see in any other show. That's the any other man, show? Right? Yeah. Okay. Any other show, you see him as like this very, very uh, like. Like, I am your first hurdle kind of thing. Yeah. And it's like, that's consistent. He is the first hurdle, obviously, it appears. But at the same time, he's got this level of mysterious, creepy factor. Yeah, and he's, that... he's definitely somebody you do not... He He's in that category of clowns you would never hire for birthdays. <laughs> yeah, no. you don't want kids to go missing. No. No. It just, no. It, he would... The kids would go missing, and then we'd find their bodies. The kids would go missing. The parents would be slaughtered. Yeah, um, that, that's the thing. Ways. That's the thing I gotta <laughs> say real fast about Hunter Hunter. Oh my God, Gon is a, is starting to terrify me. Every oh, everybody's the starting broken arm. Everybody's starting to terrify me. Like there's so many. Like Gon's a full on sociopath. Yes, I wouldn't say he's a sociopath because he he he's very empathetic. He's a very empathetic person. But but holy fuck, he's totally like desensitized he's desensitized to literally everything if i had to put a like put a description on it i feel yes sociopathy is kind of the case here it's It's on the table at least it's on the (laughs) table of like it's not a full-on like i'm evil at all points like no it's more of a he doesn't understand the fact that what's happening around him is terrifying and brutal it, like, it doesn't come to his head. But, like, he's, like, still, like, smiling, like, yeah, we're still going on a fun adventure. Meanwhile... Yeah, a man's heart was ripped out. Yeah, wow. He's, that guy's my best friend. He ripped the guy's heart. I, I just, just met him. I just met him. I just met him. We're gonna kill so many people together. <laughs> yeah. So, now that we've got her not spoiler that's, thoughts That's out, terrifying. Let's go ahead and get to the story. First part of the story, the trip to the exam. Yeah. Starting from, like, when we're leaving Whale Island... Onto the boat, over to the, um, uh, like, next continent or whatever, I guess, uh, where we get to the full trip heading to the exam. How do you guys feel about that? I, I know like it was the, long. The first part, <laughs> yeah, it's just, the, like, I don't... There were three exams in that one part. There were, oh, my God. The ship, the... The running, the pe- it, and it, the it, forest. It, the running as well. The swamp. the swamp, yeah. Once we, then once they got to the island, there was the weird area with the bat people creatures. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there was the old lady, lady with the bird. <laughs> Wait, what? Bat creatures? No, not bat. Uh, fox. They had wings. They had wings. Oh right, right, yeah. They had yeah, wings. Guys, I forgot guys. about that. You forgot that they could sprout wings. Oh, I hate that. But so I, I like that twist that the the monsters were part of the test that they were just like mindless yeah. monsters I like that but it was kind of like it was like I it was like it was like it was, like, it, was like, it was very much set up as a horror thing and it was kind of getting terrifying and then the fact that that part didn't stick with me as much as what happens at the end of the season 
Oh, I just realized a good way to describe it. Yeah. The way that the early show is, it feels episodic, even though it's not. Yeah. Like, with the music. Like, it, it starts off with, like, the normal adventure, has the full conclusion, and then it plays that kind of dragon, <laughs> the, the Dragon Quest music. <laughs> like, do, 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 do. We did and, it! And it's like, we did it! And it's like, yeah! And it's like, okay, does this... Does this go to the next episode? Yeah, <laughs> where, where it is makes it? it the music itself makes it feel episodic, weirdly enough. Like it makes it feel like okay, there, there is not a, connected. The music has an effect, yeah. It's yeah. really funny when it's out of context. Like something grim happened and then it goes <laughs> just, <laughs> It's like alright. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that guy is dead. <laughs> <laughs> but our friends are all gonna die. We're, we're all gonna die. Gone, Leorio, and Kurapika. Make their way to the exam. I want to say this real fast about Kurapika. Yeah. Why is the voice actress not even trying? Well, she's trying. I mean, but like, she's not even doing like oh, a... Oh, trying like to a be male? Like a guy voice, yeah. Like, Gon's voice actress, like, is very... Like, like it's ha like it's there. But, it le but like, you know that she's trying to sound like a child. Yeah. Kurapika's voice actress is literally like... I thought Kurapika was a lady... Until Duke told me that that he was a guy. Yeah, could not be cause a guy. And I was just like, what? Because <laughs> there's so many things that was like so working against that that I was I thought that there was gonna be like a reveal. Like I thought it was like one of those you know like in in movies and stuff and like the character like the lady dresses up as a guy. Oh, you mean like that one girl from uh, JoJo season three? Yeah. Or <laughs> and uh, and that is all I'll say. <laughs> and like, but Anyways. like, but like, you know, but like, you get what I'm saying. That like, she like Kirapika was like I would thought was going to be set up as like the revealed to be a lady, and then yeah. every and then and then like oh, she, no, and then like for some reason like she had like a whole backstory that like she couldn't try out for the hunter thing because she was a girl or something uh -huh. like that. Kirapika's a guy, but no, it's just literally just just a guy, and like that that in like that like. Because, like, my, my mind was going in a, such a different direction with her. Him. <laughs> see? see? Anyway. You confuse yeah. yourself by thinking hypothetically. Exactly, yeah. Anyway, I thought there was yeah. going to be such a different story that my mind just, like, my mind was just like, what? <laughs> so, Kurapika, Leorio, and Gon, they make their way to the uh, first trial of the exam, which, yeah, and how do they get there? And, like, Why? Through their pure heart, and also through strategy, Jeez. and also through uh, almost getting murdered by bat creatures, by and bat. also through their childhood, early childhood as either assassins or uh, living in the wild, living and, in the and, wild, and hunting giant fish the and, size of a tree, and you know, being there in Leorio's <laughs> case, yeah, <laughs> being there, just be, being part of the equation with Leorio, having balls. Leorio. You never figured it out, but hey, you really tried to help make sure that I was okay. Thank least, you for that. Remember that? Guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's just like... I thought that was funny. He's like, I still don't know why he's dying. And it's just like, oh, are you still... Oh, oh, am I that good of an actor? Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> anyway, we get to the first exam phase where we meet several characters, including the Rookie Crusher. The Rookie Crusher! I, I, I would, I really like a character like that. That it's somebody that's his whole thing is just him enjoying putting people down. He, he's like a he's like um a troll basically like a yeah. like an he internet knows he troll. He can't succeed, so he just screws other people. He found he found his own way to enjoy things. It's like when you, it's like when you're playing a, a fighting game with friends and uh -huh. you know you can't beat him, so you just mess with him the entire time. Where it's just like, what if we do this? And he's like, no, get back up here. <laughs> yeah. It was a whole collage of characters that like. Don't fully matter to the plot, in all honesty, other yeah. than like important ones like Hisoka. Uh, Hanzo! Hanzo, which Hanzo has his moment to shine, and I like that. Yeah. Uh, other than that, there was also uh, Kilua. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's when that's where we met Kilua finally. Who is the son of a family of assassins. And you can pretty much guess where that would go. <laughs> yeah. Horrifying. <laughs> uh, but anyway. Oh, wait, Kilua wasn't there for the, the weird bat foxes. No, no he, he was not. He shows up. He he shows up at the um when they're doing the uh the endurance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, on a skateboard. <laughs> oh, other other characters that pop up and include never see again. <laughs> characters like that one hunter kid. Uh, when I say hunter, I mean an actual like bow and arrow bow and arrow hunter. Uh, there was the dude who looked like Snoop Dogg. Uh, there there was a guy. There was the guy with all the uh like the pin cushions in his uh, uh, pinhead. Like, uh, pinhead, yeah. 
Where like like the guy the from Hellraiser. Hellraiser. The Hellraiser guy, yeah. What was the name? Like Gatorak or something. Gatorak, yeah, Gatorak. I think it was something like that. That's a cool name. I That's forgot cool about name. that. But yeah, there were a bunch of miscellaneous characters. It felt. And like, the, the, that was yeah, the thing. one character pops up and it's like, yes, I'm so important. I'm a kid with a laptop. Yeah, yeah. He's like, like oh, I, I do statistics and stuff like that. But the only thing that oh. he was there for is showing how the rookie crusher gets his way, basically. Gitarak, okay. Thank you. No, 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 get get a racker. Get a racker? Get a racker. Get a racker. <laughs> and then it turns out he's How do I how do I reload this gun? Get a racker! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway um so we move we move on and we have the first exam phase which is a massive basically marathon of just going through just going through and it's just an endurance test seeing how they follow this butler guy this, this butler looking guy who talks with this mustache nose hair thing yeah and i love it Honestly, that phase I really did like because it was just showing each of the characters and their willingness to endure through it. Yeah, it was more of a mental thing than an, than an actual endurance thing. Had some good origin bit for both Kurapika and Lor- Leorio. Uh, Kurapika lost his entire uh, family, Sasuke style. Uh, red eyes. <laughs> yes. Yes, I understand he is Sasuke. <laughs> <laughs> He is Sasuke. He's he is from, Sasuke. <laughs> he's the last surviving member of a clan with red eyes. And he's on a vengeance mission. I don't know what you're talking about. This is completely original to me. <laughs> Yuck! Dude, I've never seen this holy shit. Life. I've never I've never seen Naruto. Jinsu. Holy shit. We're gonna be watching Naruto at a later point, I think like within a year. This is the first time he's seen this kind of character, so this is gonna be basically when he watches Naruto. Oh man, this character's just like Kurapika. Yeah. Has that ever been stated in the world? Probably. <laughs> like right now? <laughs> like right now? <laughs> it's like what it's like when we're watching any older show and you go, man, that's just like this show. And I'm just like, 30 year difference! <laughs> I've done that before with certain things. I can't remember where they are now, but I've known I've done it before. <laughs> I know that I've done it. It's like, it's like the case of like in modern day when people are like, oh, like that character from Fortnite. And then you just... All of a sudden, you just blur blur out, and all of a sudden, you come back, and your hands are covered in blood. <laughs> that happens so often, and I hate it. That's that's man. I'm watching Naruto. Part. I can't believe they made a show about that guy from Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> that's an unfortunate truth. Did that... you guys know they made an entire cinematic universe after the characters from Fortnite? That it started with this one character, Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> they even made comics about him. Oh, they even went back in time to back... 1930, whenever the Shut fuck the they hell up. <laughs> so anyway, the mar- the marathon. They got Ryan Reynolds to play a Fortnite character. <laughs> <laughs> Marathon goes on. They finish the marathon. They make it to the second trial, which is a another run. This time through a forest. That one I felt was a little weaker. Uh, swamp. Just like, it's like the the swamp had a better. It had like, some good moments. It had a better concept, but a, a one. It was one of the ones with the weaker execution. It yeah, it was a harder weaker version. Execution. Of- it was, it was, it was, yeah, it was like the next difficulty up from just the endurance. Stuff. Basically, it's Mario. It was a deceptive, like, things are trying to kill them, monsters are trying to kill them sort of test. People are trying to kill them. The, the equivalent, uh, themselves are trying to kill them. The equivalent, Their mother. <clears throat> the equivalent in my head, honestly, is that it's just like the first stage was just a Mario game where you just have to hold uh, left for like. 12 hours yeah. <laughs> and then once you get to the second level it's like okay and now here's a uh what's that one kaizo mario oh yeah kaizo. <laughs> now it's kaizo mario <laughs> kaizo mario it's like really difficult mario levels where like you have to do like shell jumps it's and like, stuff like you that. have to be frame perfect you in mean, order to actually mean kaizo you mean um what's the word you're thinking no you're are you guys thinking of mario builder or like level no, like actual like ROMs of Mario games that like they're specifically made in it. Oh, okay. Kaizo yeah. isn't just a yeah, Kaizo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's but yeah, a, no. There is a fly in here, and I am starting to lose it. Yeah. Well, let's get uh, let's get this through. Uh, third uh, third phase. Once we get out of the woods, is cooking. We were we got to the cooking part, and we got introduced to one of the uh, better investments to keep watching the show. I've seen. <laughs> I, f- I find it funny that there's always, like, some character that shows up. Like, with Hunter x Hunter, 
there are several characters that pop up of like it doesn't even seem like they're the main focus almost ever but they just pop up and you're just focused of like god damn and the cooking instructor lady she was one of those where it's like why are you a background character yeah why aren't you in the story more uh i think the same was same with uh what was what was it uh the titty tour guide <laughs> what <laughs> you forget the titty tour guide the, uh, with Men, the, the Menchi. Zeldic family. Her name, uh, the the hunter lady was named Menchi. 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 Yeah, it was Menchi. But uh, you remember there was also that one woman uh, with like the big poofy hair uh, who was like the bus tour. Yes, I know. No, I'm saying to Jinzu. Oh, but... I I zoned out for that portion of the. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. But but he couldn't feel he couldn't see the exact reason why, but he knew that he had to keep watching. <laughs> But yeah, oh, yeah, go yeah. ahead and talk about and the cooking area. The cooking area, like they had to go and get pig, and like like the, she it was Menchi and just like a big guy who was literally like eight to nine feet tall, and was just like I'm hungry, and so she was like go go get food that will that will satisfy the both of us, and they go and get pigs, and everybody literally just roasts the entire pig <laughs> and just gives it to them, and the big guy being willing, guy. like being big guy. Just wanting food. Oh, I did see her, but I didn't see her at the right angle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, want to see what she looks like in the original uh, ninety nine? Oh, she's she... still cute. She's still yeah. cute. She's no, she looks better now. <laughs> she looks like Ash's mom. <gasps> <laughs> Mister Mime, better watch out. Mister Mime. Mime is happy. She looks like she looks like my nineties anime wife. <laughs> God damn, that's what she looks like in the manga, apparently. Oh, there! Wow, that's like yeah, the newer version's more accurate. Yeah, but not accurate oh, enough. Man, there's fan art. Can't time to believe it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is no, no, don't go in. No, stop. I'm j- I'm making a description. We haven't even got to that lady yet. God oh, damn it! Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Duke tries to run away from it, but Jitsu runs full towards it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, anyway, she doesn't matter because she's not here yet. She's not here yet. She's yet. dead. But cooking face. <laughs> it was interesting because, of, like, the whole of, like, yes, we are cooking hunters. Basically, our entire thing is finding and making good food. And so it then moves on to, uh, they have a cooking competition. Every one of them fails. <laughs> oh, yeah, Menchi fails everybody. Because no one made food that she liked. No one made yes. food. No one made food. No one food. was passionate about it. No one was passionate. No, it, yeah, they, they literally just roasted pig, gave it to her. The and only person I kind of tried was Kirapika by making like it look good, but not actually making it good. <laughs> there was an interruption by Netero, an old man, who is the president, of, the chairman of the association, yeah. the Hunter Association. Yeah. And he ends up bringing them all on an airship, taking them off to a, a different area. He's, like let's, the he's like, let's try this again, because I don't think everybody should have actually failed. So they, they, instead of failing immediately, she comes up with another test where they go and get spider eggs. Oh, no, it's bird eggs. It's bird eggs that are laying bird on spider sp- webs. No, bird spiders or whatever. Yeah, no, it's, it's 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 a combination of animals. Yeah, it's I mean, and oh. I and I hate the implication because we don't actually see them. Yeah, yet, yet, <laughs> I'm terrified <laughs> of that word. Yet, but uh, yeah. So oh god, uh, we get that whole thing, and of course the main uh, cast uh, gets to go on to the next part. But real quick interruption: the airship. That is another point where it's like, I like that episode, but you can see that it dragged. Yeah. Because, like, it dragged how long it was going. It, it should have been, like, during, half an episode. Yeah, it should have been half an episode. Uh, it did have some cool moments of, like, Netero having fun with the kids of, uh, like, and we'll play a game of, like, if you can if you can hit me, then you win, kind of thing. But no, it was uh, take the ball from me. Take the ball from me. And that's it. And they get so tired to the point that um, uh, Go re- uh, says, no, wait a minute. He's only been using uh, his uh, left side. I'm going to force him to use his right hand at least. Yeah, to switch hands, yeah. And, and near the very end, uh, he actually switches hands, and he goes, Yay, I won! Okay, bye! Bye! <laughs> and K- Meanwhile, Kirapika, Kilua's like, I'm bored. Uh, he K- kills people. Yeah, K- Kilua away. had to leave, and he's just like, Wow, I had to leave. My drive to kill that guy was way too much. And I was like, huh? And then he proceeds to kill two people that were walking past! 
<laughs> no, they were shit talking him, and then they go back to him, and then they like grabbed his shoulder, and yeah. then he goes, "Oh, time for die." Yeah, and that's still bad. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, like it Jitsu doesn't. No matter how much impl- no matter how much context you give it, he still kills guys. I don't Jitsu, care. Jitsu, I don't Jitsu, care about what that? happened. I care more that you got what happened right. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say Jinsu. Not according to, to my narrative. <laughs> Anyway, we get past the cooking competition. They get now the off. tower. They get dropped off in a very, very weird looking place. In, like the best way to describe what is that? She has red hair in the nineties version. Weird. Right. That's interesting. Anyways. There's a lot of weird changes. Uh, no, actually, apparently, uh, here's a weird thing that I get to mention. Like, I-, I want this to be included. So apparently, there's a massive difference between the nineteen ninety nine version and the twenty eleven version. The biggest difference being the tone. Apparently, in nineteen ninety nine, it was pretty like grim throughout it of like it was pretty <laughs> like treating it as it is kind of thing yeah meanwhile the 2011 what it does is it builds up this idea that everything is really good hearted and uh, nice but you can see the undertones of darkness and then it gets darker and darker as time goes to show you that things are changing yeah things are changing but the but the but the first version but was just 1999 like... was all yeah, the way through yeah. so it's like you get uh, it's basically a matter of exhaustion it's the best way to put it, you know that thing about like frogs and like boiling frogs. Yeah. Uh, there's nope. a, uh, oh you don't know. Basically, this whole thing of like if you throw a, a frog in a boiling uh, pot, it's gonna jump out, right? But if you put a frog in a pot and then you slowly heat it up, then the frog won't realize until it's too late. Yeah. That's basically f- fans of Hunter Hunter. So <laughs> here for wow. your daily frog facts. <laughs> That's. It's a terrifying, terrible statement, but yeah. The only thing that I ever really knew that Also, never I read I the did... manga. <laughs> okay. You, you, don't... <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, you know how when I say that uh, about most books, I mean like read, like a comic book. Yeah. Uh, if you read Hunter x Hunter, you're reading a book. Ah. Did you know that? I did not. Hunter x Hunter the is book. famous for most of the pages being words. Jeez, all right. Like, like, oh. like being like... Um... <laughs> You're gonna. I, I feel like I'm gonna get slapped when I say this. Like Diary of a Whippy Kid. Oh, I never read that. I didn't care. <laughs> yeah. I actually don't like uh, uh, that series at yeah, all. Yeah, it, it's. It was more of like a read in middle school type of book, but um. But yeah, like like moving more, on more to words. the tower. Moving on to the tower. To the tower. Like the best way I could describe the tower's look is like a you know those uh butter churn things yeah that that's the best way i could describe what it looks like no no (laughs) the the shape of the tower (laughs) it was it was the shape of the tower it was also the pace of the tower the the pace of the tower yeah the tower is where unfortunately the tower was like five to uh, six episodes yeah it slows everything down oh it is like diary (laughs) would you ever read that what asshole doesn't even draw like (laughs) just writes excuse you see he drew Wow. Three people. <laughs> In three, three people. different panels. Yeah. But yeah, no. No, it's usually not that, obviously, but other times it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Why? Why is this visual novel so visual with words? But anyway, um, other than that, there was also... Uh, don't look up spoilers for yourself. There's some really good stuff you're about to spoil. I'm but, looking at so, it. So yeah, like, the, the tower basically... They go in like it, it's the four of them, and then all of a sudden it's like there should be there needs to be five people, and it's just like oh great, we need to wait for a fifth person to get here with us, and lo and behold, it's the rookie crusher who dragged it so long, who made it, who made everything more difficult. Which in anybody with anybody doing any gr- group project with the kind of person that doesn't care knows the struggle (laughs) the episodes took place over i believe three days and it felt like eternity this was the slowest part but it had one of the best moments of like the face off against these prisoners with one of my favorite moments of kilowa coming in and it's like okay i'm here for the challenge big dude i'm a murderer who's killed all these different people you stand no Oh wow! Let me hey, take this your, is heart. your heart. This yeah. is my heart now. <laughs> hey, and your heart removed. And then he put it back into his hand when he died. Yeah. It's like, good lord! Yeah, Kill Kilo is also terrifying me, but thankfully he's not smiling 
as much as Gon. <laughs> well, Kilo understands that he is an assassin from a dark, dark <laughs> world. Yeah. Kilo understands it's supposed to be dark, basically. Yeah, <laughs> he knows the tone. Kilo is from the world Gon isn't. <laughs> Kilo also has some of the funnier moments, in all honesty. Like, uh, Gon, he's fine, but Kilo is the one that, like, almost consistently makes me laugh sometimes. Of, like, that one near the end of the show. Of just, like, well, if I had to give you an idea of how, like, far away you are in terms of uh, power level to Hisoka, Hisoka is here. You are... Walks across the whole garden. Over here. <laughs> you, and you're like, here, Wait. and you're... <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Over here. Oh, and then my favorite part of that moment? Wait, then where are you? I'm, uh, right over here. <laughs> and in his head, Wow. I'm way more humble than I thought I was. Yeah. <laughs> That's no, my favorite line. Uh, I will say that Leorio actually like had like Le Leorio's entire part in the tower was so funny to me. Just like how how just wrong he was about everything he did. Leorio is it like I know he's a fan favorite for a lot of people. Surprisingly, mm. uh, there you go for my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Like, no, I like him, but, like, to hear some people's thoughts of, like, yeah, he's my favorite character in the entire show. Really? Not, like, Kilua or Gon or he, Kurapika? He definitely, from what we've seen so far, he definitely does not start strong compared to the others. Because, like, Gon... I mean, we'll get like, more his, stuff later, obviously. Yeah, yeah, but, like, Gon, his beginning of his story is, like, there. Like, it's boom. Like, we're full-on understanding and we're rooting for him, basically. Kilua. Oh wow! You need to be friends with Gon way longer, so you guys don't, so you don't end up as Kill. an assassin. But who knows about all that? Uh, uh, Kirapika, Kirapika, you've got an interesting backstory. You, you've got a backstory where your entire family, your entire clan, was murdered by this group of people, and you've got revenge on your mind. Leorio, Leorio is the most human character in a show full of superhumans. Exactly, like he just shows up and he's just like, I want to be here because. I want to be a hunter because you can get paid really good for it. And I'm also and a actually doctor. Actually, his real reason is because he wants to be able to pay supply medicine to anybody that wants it. Yeah. Without having to pay. Yeah, that, that, which that's a good reason. That's like a that's like a that's a human thing. Very that, human. Uh, that's the advantage. Again, he's the most human character. You know what? That's the reason why people like him so much. Because he's the most human. Yeah. And then, like, obviously... And I really liked Let's, how, especially in the tower, I liked how he grew more into the big brother aspect with Gon. Like, that was like that was when the turn where he was like that with Gon, that's where that happened the most. Well, let's uh, get to the next part. Oh, what's up? Oh, I was going to say, I was going to say I like how Leorio also is very nice with Gon, and he very, very much treats him like an, a big brother. Really. Yeah, exactly. And, and, like, with the tower, when they finally just get through it, they get through on complete bullshit, I will say. Phase five, the, the hunt. But like, but like they they oh, yeah. break they break down the wall they they literally break down a wall, yeah. and all get there and get to the end and finish line like as the timer that is felt beeping. like breaking the rules and I was just like ah come on phase five the hunt which I will say is my favorite of the tests yeah I like the tournament a little more but the the hunt was so good that one that one was actually like different it had like this one like like you couldn't just. Like copy paste this into another show. Yeah, like that. That's why I like that this one the most. So basically, to summarize, the way that the hunt works is you have a certain hunter that you need to hunt, and to get their number to get their number, and there's somebody hunting you. That's yeah. basically the best way to put the way that it works. Hunt if you fail to get one, if you fail to get one, uh, any other person that is not either a target or yourself is worth one point. You and your target are worth three points. You need six points. Put the math together. Yeah, and like basically... Give us your favorite moment from that. My favorite po uh, moment was actually when Gon was training. Because like his whole thing is that he has like the fishing rod. But he kept on like not... Like he realized how precisional he has to be to get Hisoka's badge. Yeah. So he was like... And so like what he kept on doing, he kept on training, seeing what exactly he needed to do in order to catch a bird with his fishing uh, fishing rod and he learns that when it's going for his pr for their prey that's the perfect moment to surprise them 
So over the course of like a couple days, he was literally nonstop going, 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 practicing. Someone was watching him. And so, and Snoop Dogg was watching him, just like waiting to pounce because he had Gone's number. And overall, everybody kind of had their own goals. Like, like the, the, I will say that like Kilua, he literally just found the guy and one. try and yeah, found it one <laughs> done. Like he yeah, was there, there, he was there done. <laughs> there were some things that were like extremely fast, and others that were so dragged. Like the entire snake episode, the snake one, where <laughs> the only way that they could properly do it is that Gone held his breath for almost ten minutes. <laughs> you know, I'll be a hundred percent. Want to know how bad it got for me? Hmm. I forgot that Gone held his breath. <laughs> I forgot that that was a segment of it, and I honestly zoned out. Like part way through that those moments, <laughs> but and and finally and I watched it twice. And finally, the rookie crusher got what he deserved from Leorio. He lost, and he probably died. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. But anyway, phase six, the tournament. Yeah, they they finally so the final. How many people were there? Like eight. There were like eight people. Eight people. And they yeah, were a very full... cool tournament. Yeah, they, like they, they had it was a different tournament that I've never seen before, where you basically when you win the match you are done, but if you lose you get moved up, and you have like depending on how good you've been in the in all the tests and everything like that is how many chances you have to actually like like how many chances you have to lose and then try again and. Like I think the MVP of that entire tournament was actually um what's his face that like Hisuka he like I th- I think he was the an actual like MVP of that entire tournament really because like the his entire like going through like he he had the most interaction with the most people he had the most devilish uh, like w- w- like terrifying moments yeah like he like he whispered things Where you're just to... like what the hell is happening. Yeah, like he whispered things to Leorio and Kirapika and a bunch of other guys. Like he, like he, he had a mission, and he was getting through it with like this tournament. Like he was full on. Like if if it was like him winning, basically, like if he was like gonna be the only winner, I would put him as the winner. Yeah. Like if this was like an actual tournament, I would put him as the winner. Yeah, that's fair enough. So we uh, we get basically Goan wins his match. Barely. And through winning his match, he gets knocked out. Yeah, he misses the entire thing. And he gets explained what happened. That Kilua, in his match, went up against uh, Pinhead over there. And Pinhead revealed that he is, in fact, the brother to uh, Kilua yeah. by the name of Illumi. Yeah, and he like did some weird eyes hypnotism stuff to Kilua. It wasn't really a hypnotism thing. It was either. more like conditioning. It was manipulation. Manipulation, conditioning, that Some stuff. Some magic bullshit that I'm sure we won't learn about later. <laughs> no, actually, it, in all honesty, it wasn't magic bullshit. It was legit real life just practices of he grew up with that kind of manipulation. That was a real life thing for a moment. Like, stop of like conditioning. Yeah, conditioning. Conditioning a person to believe this way. Kind of like Homestuck Syndrome. Yeah. Or Homestuck Syndrome. Stock, Stockholm. Stockholm. Homestock? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That came to the back of my head, and I was like, it's Homestock, right? Yeah. <laughs> right? Right? Homestuck? Homestuck? Homestuck, homestuck disorder? It's homestuck disorder. Stockholm? Where are you just a piece of shit? <laughs> Stockholm syndrome? Where are you just a cringy 14-year-old for just one year? For one year. <laughs> just a year. Why is it just one year? That's because what... then you become 15. Then you're 15, yeah. <laughs> you're still cringy, but now you're 15. But now you're 15. God now damn. you got a different cringe. And <laughs> now you're a My Hero Academia shipper. So we move on. We see the fact that he has this whole terrifying fight with Illumi that doesn't really become a fight. He just gives up. And in the next match with Leorio, and this old guy. Kilua kills the old man who was about to fight Leorio. Yeah. And, and just... he is immediately kicked out and everybody wins. Yeah, everybody passes because there was a rule that if you accidentally kill, if you kill the, the your opponent, you were everybody, you're disqualified and everybody else passes. Yeah. And wow, that whole scene was just like, oh, and Gon hearing his friend just like left and he was just like, he goes to Illumi and just like, you apologize and take me to Kilua right now. Apologize. And it's like, why should I apologize? And it moves on like, okay, fine. I'm going to go get, I'm going to go grab 
uh, Kilua. I'm gonna go save him. Yeah, like he's in, the, in the cringiest way though. He goes, "I'm gonna rescue him myself." My, I'm gonna rescue him myself. And they move on, and as of course the main trio goes off to save him, the Hisoka is talking to Illumi, and he goes, "Uh, so what's up with that?" And he goes, "Oh yeah, no, go." And he broke my arm. Yeah, he just so casually just broke his arm. The really grip. The fact that Gon was just so, like, deadpan about it, just, like, that was another moment where I was just like, oh. <laughs> so we move on, and we get to the Zoldic family. Zoldic or Zeldic? Zoldic. Zoldic. We get to the Zoldic family. <laughs> yeah, with... I was not part of that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> huh? About... <Yeah. laughs> but we get to the Zoldic family, which we start off with a very interesting part of uh, uh, definitely a, a big titty uh, tour guide. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Oh, sorry, sorry. That wasn't the interesting part. No, uh, the interesting p- part was actually the gate. The gate, yeah. They were so t- There was this whole thing about there's literally just this giant door, but there's also just a service door right at the end. And lo and behold, these guys try and break in using that door, unlocking it and going in, and then they're killed by something. That is my favorite scene. I forgot about that. That's my favorite <laughs> scene because of how it's worded. I'm just like, please, sir, don't don't take my keys. Don't do this right now. And it's like, no, we're going to take your keys. We're going to do this. We're going to go. Ha ha, we got this. We're going to go kill those guys. And then he uh, go and goes up to the uh, the doors, uh, the door guard. And he goes like, are you okay, sir? Oh, the master hates when this happens. He hates when uh, when his pet gets uh, gets fed before food. Before feeding time. Yeah, before feeding time. <laughs> And you're just like, wait, what? And, and then, then you hear the door... screams, and then the door opens, and skeletons are dropped. It's dropped by a giant hand, and it's just like, oh, okay. <laughs> yep. Gon, Kilua, and um, Leorio go through a bunch of little trials to uh, strengthen themselves for a, few, for a few days. Thankfully, they don't have to fight that thing, but it is very terrifying. They enter the... They I enter, can't remember its name. I don't remember either. Should I just I, know it was terrifying. I should probably look that up. Giant Scary Dog. Giant Scary Dog. Uh, They enter. They meet the Giant Scary Dog. It is terrifying. Mike. Mike? Or Mike? Mike. 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 <laughs> Mike. <laughs> His name is Mike. Mike. He will be the terror of everybody. And yeah, there was that. It was a really I mean, good scene where like it literally just comes up to them think, and like sits and stares at them. I think it was the fan favorite character of this year, like of almost any other show. Oh my god! This is the page uh, for the manga. The fan oh. favorite uh, character for uh like from any show right now is currently uh Mikey. From Tokyo Revengers. I have not been able to watch that. <laughs> but I've heard that like it's a really good show. People were going nuts over it. And uh, one of the main characters, Mikey, was um, uh, like the big one that everybody loved. Okay. The yeah. only weird thing was when people tried saying, oh yeah, he could fight this person. It's like, no. No. <laughs> no. Because then he would die. No, because he's a normal person. <laughs> he's a street fighter, basically. <laughs> and like people were saying, like he could fight Baki. No, I don't what? think I don't think Baki would do. Yeah, you know, irrelevant. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Mikey don't matter. Uh. Anyway, that might so, be so kind of like weird tangent. They they oh, do no, that. like irrelevant is in like comparing him to Baki. Oh yeah, like that's irrelevant. Like what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the main comparison people made. I'm not kidding. Uh-huh. I know, but, I know, but it's like what the fuck? We, <laughs> the funniest thing about that entire arc is just how. Literally, like, there was one half of the family that is, like, that, like, took Kilua and is, like, we gotta punish him! But then there's the other half with, like, the grandpa and his dad that are literally just, like, oh, hey, you want to do your own stuff? All right. Okay, I want you I want you to describe But, like, he lets him go. But, like, he lets him go. Like, like he actually is, like, okay with Kilua being himself. Ma'am, yeah. I want you to describe the family. Like, uh, who are the members? There's the mom and dad. They are, dad is cool, mom is crazy. And has uh, things on her face. And is willing to shoot a child. Yes. But uh, not lethally. But gr- not lethally. G- Grandpa is chill. He's actually like... Grandpa is the best character. He's like, hey, why don't we let him be him? Which is cool. Then we've got his siblings. we got the one that go and broke his arm. Illumi. That is... He did not do that. Go and broke arm. Yeah, but... Illumi didn't, break, Illumi didn't break. 
No, no, no. Illumi's no, arm no, got broken was, by oh, Gong. Oh, whoops, yeah. Whoops, whoops. Anyway, there was Illumi. Uh, who's who's was... a who's the um? I'm the older one, so I know best about you. Yeah. The tall manipulative bastard. Yeah. There and was then, Kim Jong Un. Then yeah, and there's then the Kim Jong Un. Fat manipulative bastard. <laughs> who's, yes, Kim Jong Un. Who, who uses who tries to make stuff. <laughs> or Kim Jong Il. <laughs> And then there's just this little girl with the mom that I didn't really that we didn't really get too much backstory about. His crazy Chad dad. Is it? Yeah. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Yeah. <laughs> Why you look like that? <laughs> My dude. Yeah. That, My that. dude looking like Professor Turo over there. <laughs> no, Pe- Professor Turo wished he looked like him. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway. Yeah. We get that whole thing. Uh, we get this older family. Yeah, it was like, nice. like they're going up to get uh, Kilua, but the family, but like the grandpa and the dad, allow, have already released him. Yeah, have, have already released him. So it's just like they don't have to fight anybody anymore. They literally just have to go to this bu- to the butler building and meet Kilua there. Now the butler, on their other hand, you want perfect. That's what I see every fucking. I'm. Scared. Scared of this one, this one, this one I don't like. I'm scared of those. Why is he in this? <laughs> I'm oh, scared of those people ones. are terrible. Yeah. Oh, but anyway. But yeah, so they, they we meet the butler, like oh, the head butlers, bu- butlers, but like the head butler guy. And oh, that guy is awesome. They started like doing this game, and it was like you, if you don't win at this game, you can't meet Killua, and also you'll die. <laughs> meanwhile, Killua's in the other room, just like, when are they gonna get here? <laughs> when are they getting here? And. And Gon thankfully is able to find like it's literally like a witch hand is is the coin, and then he adds two other people to it, and then Gon goes, "Oh no, it's the guy right behind us. He has the coin," and he's just like, "God damn it!" <laughs> and then he reveals, "Oh no, actually, I was kind of fine with you going off with him because I kind of let you win. <laughs> I let you win. I mean, he proves it where it's just like, hey, which hands it in? That one. Wrong." It's like, yeah, no, that's the thing. He let him win. Yeah. Dude, he's the butler of an assassin. No shit, he's gonna let him win. Yeah, he he, he wanted to make sure. And but, then the, everybody kind of now goes, like, now that the group, the four of them are back together again. Yeah, and then they split up. They split back up. <laughs> and now they're going to different areas. Uh, Kurapika is going off to do his own thing. Leorio going off to college. <laughs> yeah. And Now that they Kilo have infin- the infinite money ticket with the hunter license except for kilo and gon because kilo does not have one and gon refuses to use his until he is able to pay back uh hisoka hisoka and oh yeah and you know where they they go to the heavens arena in oh oh not in york new city no it's not in york york new city the fact that that that's one of the goals i hate the fact that that city exists so much what why is that, friend? Why is that mayhem on green villains? <laughs> York New City is uninspired. <laughs> How dare you? Anyway, so, now, we, the, uh, now the that we name, know the full story, now that we know only. the full story, let's get a quick your quick thoughts for both of you on each of the characters. I'm gonna run through very quickly, okay? Yes. Gon. Gon. I can see him becoming a full on sociopath. Serial killer? Yeah, serial killer sociopath. Jinzu, thoughts on Gon? Uh Imagine, imagine if Goku was like borderline sociopathic. Yeah, yeah. That's Goku. I mean, going. <laughs> anyway, what? Kilua. Who are you talking about? Kilua, for both of you, thoughts. He very much reminds me of, oh, I don't know, a murderer. <laughs> well, yeah, that's he, kind of he, character. Like he, he seems like if he's mentored by Hisoka, he'll be a worse Hisoka. Yeah. What about you, Jitsu? Thoughts on uh, Kilua. Uh, Killer just seems like that kid who's super edgy but really wants to be like friends with everyone. Yeah, yeah. Leorio. Leorio has some good moments, but unfortunately, he's the most human. Therefore, has the he has the tendency of being in the background with the story. Like especially in this first part, he was more in the background, and when he finally got into the foreground, he fucked up a lot. <laughs> Kura. Oh yeah, Leorio thoughts. Leorio, doting big brother. Actually, maybe not doting. But, no, not but doting, but like he caring. Big brother. Big, big brother. He's big a big brother, brother character. Kurapika. We'll, we'll punch whoever bullies his little brother. Yeah. Yeah. Kurapika. Has a very intriguing story um, that I can't wait to actually see the rest of. And is also the big sister. I mean, big other brother. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, Rookie Crusher. Rookie Crusher, I I like it whenever they bring in a character like that that the main cast has to overcome, not because he's super strong, but just because he's an asshole. <laughs> Real quick, get that back. <laughs> <laughs> My boy is steaming. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Rookie Crusher. Uh, Jinsu, your thoughts on Rookie Crusher? Um, he's a Rookie Crusher. He's fat. <laughs> uh, moving on would, would kick him down a flight of stairs <laughs> not on. feel nothing Hisoka <laughs> Hisoka for both of you Hisoka Le- terrifies me not in how he fights or wants to kill but how he treats Gon ah oh, his horniness scares you yeah <laughs> <laughs> he, not he's not he's, he's, he's the worst case of fight sexual I've ever seen yes yes which Imagine. Goku Goku puts the world in jeopardy Hisoka just Put your ass in jeopardy. Put your <laughs> ass in jeopardy. Oh, uh, what is ass pain? <laughs> Talk about having your yeah, about talking about making your cake and having it too. Yeah. Damn. So, Jinsu, your thoughts on Hisoka? Hisoka is literally just evil horny Goku. Yeah. yeah but, but yeah. <laughs> to, to the dark side. Yeah. yeah the yeah, instructors. Yeah, yeah. Mustache butler wait, guy. Wait, wait. Why well, I didn't finish my thoughts on oh, Hisoka? Oh, so sorry. Yeah. Fucking um. I like his place in this story. I don't necessarily like him entirely as a character because of the gross horniness, but um, his place in the story and his impact and just overall presence is is I mean it makes the story so much more interesting and it makes the first season so more so much more interesting to watch. It's so much it's, more. He he's, he's the most interesting a, part. Yeah, he he's he added makes, the addition that was needed to keep people watching. Right, he adds stakes to it, and he also has a goal for Gong and Killua. Yeah, he gives them it. Yeah. Now we're gonna talk about the instructors. I only want you to mention your favorite instructor. I'll even go as well. I wonder which one. <laughs> Who's your favorite then? Uh, the mustache, uh, the mustache butler guy. <laughs> he's very. He's he's. He's got strength, but like obviously he's not the strongest. He's the he's the dependable one. He's very dependable. Jinzu, your favorite? Uh, there weren't that many, were there? Yeah, there were. There were not that many. Exactly. It was Butler guy. There was Butler, mustache. Menchie, there was lady. Menchie. There was pigman. There was uh, um, mastermind. Uh, glasses mastermind. Dude. Right, mastermind glasses was pretty funny. No, nah, I guess I guess Menji's chichis. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we're a big plus <laughs> uh i would have to agree mustache man actually i'm not even gonna kid. i'm not even gonna lie no it's one of those things of like dude the best way to put it uh the difference between my like for mustache man and my like for um uh i always forget her name uh, menchi. but uh menchi uh menchi titties uh titi Menchie titties. <laughs> also, I, sh- I should say, I should say, I don't really care for any of the the mentor characters, right? no, the tutors, whatever. The I liked, I liked uh, the, the mustache the man. Testers. Yeah, mustache the man had the most examiners. personality. Plus, it's it's kind of that comparison of like going to a gym and like that whole thing that some uh, women have said of like, wait, why don't uh, why are, why do guys always look at other guys when they go to the gym? And it's like, listen, we see beautiful women all the time. What we don't see. Is Herculean gods, <laughs> and it's like it's like when you meet in real life somebody with like a, just a really nice mustache, like that perfect mustache. You're just like you're looking at that. You're not looking at anything else. You're like, holy shit, that's okay. awesome. Okay, so I don't know what you're talking about anymore. What? <laughs> You've never seen a person with such perfect facial hair. I go, hey, that's a pretty good beard or mustache. Anyway. I go, hey, that's me. I go, hey, you're a god. No. Hey, I'm, <laughs> hey, I'm looking at myself in the mirror again. <laughs> I've, I've seen, I've had those instances of just, like, I'll see, I'll re- be walking and then I'll just see a person, like, down the hall and I'm like, holy shit. They've got a mustache given to him by God. Right. I've seen that before. I... You've not met the gods of facial hair? <laughs> you don't see those amongst yourself. Mm. Uh, you are not a member of that. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> At least I have something to show. Damn. <laughs> Damn. You, you're, you're at the footsteps. I am a praiser. <laughs> you just praise and I'm trying to climb the stairs. You're trying to climb the chair, uh, the stairs. The chairs. <laughs> the chairs. Here I go! The chair. <laughs> Also, that tangent might be me cut, but basically... Oh, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> that was stupid, but... Uh, next up, Netero, the old man. 
I I love this guy, <laughs> especially a very specific detail that was very quick and will be and it's gone with us too. But yeah, like the way that he trained Gone and Kiloa with that little game was like like it, it's a te it was like a test where he wanted to gauge what kind of fighters these kids were the hunters that they were going to be. Yeah. Uh yeah. Jinzu, your thoughts on Netero? On Netero, he's very uh he's very interesting. I definitely see him being a very important crazy character. I think I think it's gonna be like Roshi, but in but in a much more unique way. Yeah. yeah. That's actually a pretty good point, yeah. Uh, next up on the important list, uh, Titty Tour Guide. What? <laughs> was, she here, was, was here and gone so quickly, but her memory stays. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you that. Yes. Uh, Zeldic, the Zeldic family, just this, as a whole. The entire like setup of what they are was just... like I was so just taken aback by them. I was just like, Jesus, they... They literally, like, have their own world and can do whatever they want and do not care. Yeah. Jinzu, your thoughts on the Zoldic family. Zeldic family. Zoldic. Zoldic family. Bro, I... Zeldic Why family. do you spell it wrong? <laughs> Zol. Maybe you Zol. wouldn't be so confused if you spelled it Maybe right. I'm not the idiot anymore! <laughs> Wait! No! You know the best part? I spelled it correctly up there. I had to respell it. <laughs> but anyway, the Zoldic family. I hope we see more of them. They're very interesting. Yes. Their place in the world is also very incredible, too. Like, his dad's gonna check back up on him and be like, are you having fun? Are you winning, son? Are his you winning, gonna, son? His dad's gonna do the Kamehameha wave. <laughs> Not because he knows how to do it, but just because he uh, he learned about it and he went, it's mine now. It's mine now. He saw Goku do it and said, I can do that. I can do better. <laughs> no, he heard there was another universe where they're even stronger and he said... No. No. <laughs> uh, the butlers. The butlers, the, they, were, they were, they were interesting because, like, they, like, it was more of, like, a school, and, like, because there was that, that little girl, the, yeah. the, the girl that was kind of friends with Kilua. Yeah. And, like, their entire time that they were trying to stop going and them getting to Kilua, it made sense because, like, they very much, they actually cared about Kilua. And they thought that these people were going to, like, try and take advantage of him because he's so rich and powerful, basically. Yeah. But, well, yeah. That's all the characters we get to mention right now. Yeah. That's all we get. So, give me your final thoughts on the show and if you're excited for the next season. Man, I sure hope that the rest of the story takes off from here. It does. So much. <laughs> oh, yeah. Speaking of which, hey, Jinzu, you've said that you started watching season two? Yeah. Yeah. Would think, you say that's where it picks up? Yes. Holy shit, it's finally about to get good. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to go from good to great, I should say. Like, how good? It went from, okay, to, oh my god. Yeah. On a scale of one to, woo! Um, R2, D2 screaming. I was gonna, don't you dare turn it off. I thought you were about to turn it off. <laughs> no, but I would have to say, I love this show for what it became. Uh, the early parts... Not how it starts. <laughs> not how it starts, because the early parts, it's very rough, you can tell. Meanwhile, the way it transforms over time, even at the end of the first season, is incredible. It's awesome. Anyway, yeah, it, it got... do you have a question for us? Your usual isms? Yes, my mayhemism is one of the tests that we saw in the Hunter exam. Which one do you think you would actually be able to pass? Cooking. The cooking one. All yeah. right. Okay. Hundred percent cooking. Jinsu. Jinsu. Of the test, which one do you think you would be able to pass? Cooking. <laughs> I feel it's for all of us cooking because that's not that's the, the only one. humane thing that they have. <laughs> I don't know. I think I could get through. The... I'd still die getting the egg though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How do you How do you guys think you would do with the tower? The tower. I would be too confident and die. <laughs> yeah. What about you, uh, Jinzu? Do you think you'd be able to handle the tower? I'm the one asking the questions here. Jinzu, what do you think of the tower? <laughs> Would you handle it? If I can't turn it upside down, like in one of my favorite video games, then I don't want it. <laughs> okay. And that's a reference for another time. Anyway, now to prepare you, get ready to finally see the magic system that everyone says is one of the best magic systems of any anime ever. I can't wait to... So plagiarize it. 10 15. Probably. Shut up. <laughs> Let's get right to it.
Let's go. No! Are we gonna see more Big Titty Tour Guide? Are we? Are we? Maybe. Maybe. Um, we'll see Big Titty Business Woman. Oh. Yeah! If you want to see more of our content, you can find our YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter on our Linktree at Linktree slash Green Villains. That's L I N K T R dot E E slash Green Villains.